All right, welcome to week four. Uh, this is going to be a recording. Uh, first question on the list uh, was pretty much regarding uh, why modeling things in one part versus uh, different parts. Uh, you might have noticed throughout this bike, most of this, most of these parts are different parts. Um, and uh, when you start a project like this, you you want to think about you know uh, animation purposes. Anything that's going to be animated it's gonna to have to be a separate part. There, there are times where I'll specifically say, hey, I'm gonna fake this panel line, like I'll bevel an edge, push it in, but the parts are really not separate. That's kind of few and far between. I, I don't do it that much in this project because I did wanna have things uh, mainly as separate parts. It just has a lot of mechanical parts, right? So if this was to be rigged, uh, it is gonna be advantageous. It is a little bit more time consuming to build everything into separate parts, especially like you know the when you have the insets, you model the holes, all that's built in. But it does kind of give you it is extra work, but the extra payoff is that uh, when you hand it off to a rigger, uh, it's going to be pretty um, it's going to be pretty easy for him to to rig. But uh, yeah, this is kind of the reason why every a, a lot of pieces are are built separately. Um, you're going to see it more in the break. Um, you know, like the, the break has. Of everything, all the bolts are, um, you know, separate. But uh, I, I guess to kind of backtrack here, you'll see how it's getting rigged. Like, see how how he's uh, basically uh, during the rigging process, paints are weighted to the separate parts. Um, controllers, like, see this bolt? He's he's actually using uh, locators and controls around that bolt and around the the orientation uh, of that. So. You know that if, if that was like one all one mesh, it'd be impossible to rig. Everything pretty much rotating, and then um, there's there's a shot here of how the the rig um, works as far as the brakes and why all these all those separate pieces um, are pretty much necessary to to make it work and you know make it look pretty realistic. The the brake lever is hollow, but it's just to give you that extra pop of realism. To see that that cable actually going all the way through. So, um, you know, these are things that if you're working in a studio, uh, this is probably how you're going to be building uh, assets uh, to be rigged, especially mechanical stuff like this. Um, like I said, there are parts where I, I did fake, you know, things being different, but uh, for the most part, uh, you know, everything is separated. And um, like I said, the the rigger appreciated that everything was. You know, nice in in simple form because just how the model was built a certain way. So, um, does does that does that kind of make sense? Uh, did that kind of clear up? Um, that that made sense. All right.